as again everyone welcome to part five so i've been doing a a bit of work off camera and not on the video sort of thing but i'll get you up to speed to where i am and let you have a look it's been a few days because i've been feeling a bit rough but let's get back on it and i'll show you what's what so let's spin around and have a look hey hey so i've been working pretty hard on this side as you can probably see it's looking a lot different to the where we were on the last video been shaping it all up and now we've got the final stopper filler on it yes it is green <laughs> but it comes in different colors you just get what you get sort of thing but this arch and stuff down here is starting to look really good bottom of the door's shaped the nasty dent down the middle starting to look pretty good big dent there's gone this one's being a bit of a pain but we're still getting there with it Little one there is pretty much done. This corner is pretty much done. Uh, we're on the final skims of these repairs along the roof here. So we've not been messing about. And I've also been doing the bonnet as well, as you can see. <laughs> Ground all the stone chips back down to bare metal. As you can probably see there if I take a close up. And then um, been filling them up. These are still work right now because I'm still working. Even though it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I like quite often do that. Just nice to get a bit more done without anyone knocking on the door and sort of disturbing what you're trying to do. So yeah, we're sort of coming along. I'm going to probably, while this sort of stuff is drying, I might have a look at this front bumper and see what i need to do to take it off and then we can sort of go from there then we can get it on a stand and assess the damage on it and stone chips and stuff and work out what sort of prep we've got to do on that and get it repaired i'll then um start to do some bits like this on the back we'll get this sanded flat and Get a skim in there. There's obviously lots of little chips all around the bumper. We'll sort that out. There's some damage down the bottom here, very low, but we're still going to get rid of that while we're doing it. And we've got the bottom of the boot, some dents. This horrible one up here. These little ones here, and then them ones you can see along there along the roof. So we're starting to sort of get through it now. It's a lot of work obviously, so it's not the sort of thing you're going to get done in a couple of days, but we're starting to get there. <laughs> Look at the state of the floor, and I've already hoovered it up a couple of times, it's just a lot of sanding with all different shapes, blocks and stuff like that, sanders, and obviously everything's got to be on us and straight. Cool in the shape of the doors or the shape of the arch etc etc so take a fair bit of sanding filling sanding <laughs> until you get your shapes back so before anyone asks what glaze and stuff we're using at the moment i'll show you it's a u-pole dolphin glaze it's a two-part glaze a screen as i said before and then you add a hardener to it which is this and away you go, and you end up with that. <laughs> so, I just thought I'd show you that before we carry on. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but it does a good job. Cover the whole bit of the 
Work the same. We'll cover the whole area. Coming on, this one's got a fair way to get still, mate. Right, you get the idea of what I'm up to. So, let's keep blasting for it and I'll bring you back when we hopefully move on to another panel. So, we're going to give that bit, a bit of a rest for a little while because the metal round to repair uh, gets too hot. So, I'll start warping the metal and stuff, which we don't want to do. So I'm going to have a little go on this one up the top here for a minute. See what we can do with that. Pretty good, I think we've got that one. You can have a look. Basically that whole repair is all nice and smooth and that big dent is gone. I'll be jubbly. Obviously I'll have to go down through the grades with some other sandpapers, but I'll do all that off camera before primer. Might just hit these ones now. get them as flat as I can and then I can give them a reskim if I need to time's now coming up for two o'clock in the middle of the night so it might be time to start packing up fairly soon
know, Dustin's getting in the tub, but I thought he'd have a word he could print it out anyway. So that one I'll need a reskin. We'll have a quick go on the, the front one there as well. quite nicely. I can't always get them on the first two or three fills. I've had to hard fill it twice and know the final stuff. So we've got most of it. It's quite smooth. It's just a little bit here. Just need a little skim on the end of there. And this one just needs a tiny bit there. And that'll be them sorted. All right, like I said, it's coming up for two o'clock. So I'm gonna do a little bit more work on there off camera. Don't need that one, do we? <laughs> a little bit more work on there off camera. I'm going to do the front wing, edge of the bumper, and then I'm going to call it at night and I'll carry on tomorrow with this video. Don't do that very often. I normally do a whole day on one video, but this time we're not going to because otherwise I'm going to be here till six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right, so I'll see you in the morning. Hello everyone, so it's the next evening now, we're back on the Astro again, uh, done a little bit of work off camera just to see how the glaze and stuff is moving out, and it seemed to be coming out quite nicely, so we'll go ahead and carry on with a few bits of that, I'll keep bringing you in to let you see what's happening, and hopefully we'll be able to get onto the front end of the car today, and maybe a bit on the back too, so let's get on with it, yeah! So at the moment we're on the bonnet, I'm using the old flat block, got 180 yeah, brunette on there, and let's see what we can do, I'll start doing a bit as you can see, it seems to be coming up quite nicely, might need a little bit of a touch up in a couple of them. Fairly straightforward descent, crisscross. We 
you're trying to do is get it all nice and smooth where the stone chip was. with being changed as well. middle there. There's nothing we can't do. So I think you get the idea so we'll speed up the rest and move on with this project. So, as you will see in the previous clip, we've been over the bonnet. Been sanding it for about an hour now. And we've got through every single bit on it. Got to wipe it down and see what's what. I think there's a couple of tiny bits to refill, but otherwise, pretty good. So, let's take it over, let you have a little look, and we'll move on. So as you can see, all them big dents are gone. All them nasty little stone chips that have gone down to rust are all ground out and filled up. Come along nicely. There's quite a few to be fair, but it's what happens when you take these cars on the motorway. That used to be the sticker, do you remember? There's no glue left there at all now. That big dent we had over in the middle here is completely gone. Rust has gone out of this one. It's starting to look pretty good. Got a lot of dust, but that's just normal for doing this sort of thing. This one's gone. These two are gone. They're dense filled. This one's gone. So yeah, we're starting to, to look pretty good on the bonnet. I need to flatten it off still with um, some 320, then 500. And then that'll pretty much be there. Like so we've got a couple of tiny bits to fill, like this one here. Let's see we've got a line in the middle of it. We need to refill that. And otherwise, I think pretty much everything else is pretty good with a little bit of primer on them. That should, should fill them up quite nicely. And we'll have a perfectly good, smooth, lovely straight bonnet. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Took a bit of effort, but better than having to replace it. Right, so back to the side of the car. Getting on the old DA sander this time, we've got a bit of... 240 on, every day. I'm going to flush this back arch down and it's probably going to be its last bit for the back arch. So.
blending notes in there. This one's a bit like a red So I know it's first cut sound bit. Let's hit it.
So we've got all the nasty dents out of them doors. Finally got the final skim all nice and smooth. Can't feel the dents at all now, it feels lovely. So when we sort of mask off from primary areas and flatten that back, you'll never know any of them repairs have ever been there. Should be as good as new, lovely job. So let's give it a blast down. Sand and dust gets everywhere. <laughs> So we're going to get the old pan and wipe gear, wipe everything down, let that settle, make sure we ain't got no little bits we've got to sort out. It's a couple of tiny little bits that I know of, and then we'll move on to a different part of the car. Nice to see all about all these big dents. Whew. It's looking much better without one of the big dents. Obviously, I look a bit rough at the moment with all the filler and stuff in it but I can assure you once it's primed and painted and stuff it's going to look a million times better than what it did when it came in look at the old poor MG in the background that's covered in sand and dust <laughs> let's do a big clean very soon so I didn't mind it getting a bit of dust on it because it's going to get a proper valet detail the whole lot pretty soon Not bad compared to what we came in with. <laughs> it's looking very different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that all dry off for probably sort of 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Um, we'll move on right to some different bits on the car now. And then I'll be able to see, I think there's a couple of tiny little bits that I've got to fill on it, but I don't think you need to see them bits now. You've seen me sort of doing them bits and what I've done. So I think you get the idea. So I'm going to move around to the front end of the car, I think, and probably remove the front bumper next. Uh, see what that entitles, what we've got to do to get that off. You know, normally have to take all the, the plastic inner guards and stuff like that out. That'll be attached along the bottom at the front. 
along the top on the inside of the bonnet. Um, obviously we removed the number plate and stuff like that. I'm going to have trims and stuff to take off it. And then we'll sort of go from there with it. But it's going to have to have some repairs. So we'll get that up on some stands. I'll show you what that looked like. And then we can get started on that. And then we'll probably have a look at the back end as well. And then we're starting to sort of sort of get there pretty good. <laughs> About time. There's, there's a lot of work there when you've got these sort of dents. They weren't just your little tiny little sort of round dent that you pin dent you get at a car park. These were nasty big long gouges which sort of twisted all the metal and yeah, they were rotten lines and yeah, they were just a bit of a pain. <laughs> but some are like that and some are sort of straightforward. And this one's not a straightforward one. So everyone, we're done quite a bit in this video, so I think I'm going to call it there for this video. I'm still going to get on with the car, so I'll start making the next part already. But I obviously need to get this one all edited up and uploaded and all that sort of stuff. So it takes time. So thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you soon in part six. <laughs> thanks. See you again. Okay.